All right, here's one from David Shelton. Hossein, uh, Hossein uh, for, for those of you who don't follow uh, uh, One Imine's uh, channel, uh, Hussein is a, is a former Muslim. Uh, it says, Hussein on One Imine uh, taught how the name Allah is not the actual Arabic word for God, and yet I know Arabic Bibles use the word Allah for God. Can you guys give a balanced yeah. view on this? So what would be the, the, the pros okay, so and cons who, there? What do you start Hussein's with? Hussein's ask, uh, asking the yeah. question? Uh, Hussein, I haven't, I haven't seen the video, okay. but Hussein uh, okay. made the claim that the uh, Arabic word for God is not actually yeah. Allah. Let me, let me so interject why, something why, why, why real quickly about the Arabic it? Bible, and then I'll let uh, yeah. Brother Sam uh, comment on that. Mm -hmm. Now, we know that the earliest Arabic uh, Quran uh, available uh, dates around the uh, uh, late 9th century, and it, indeed it does have the word Allah in it. We know that the Van Dyke translation of yeah. the Bible uh, does have Allah in it. Many of the Arabic Bible translations, modern one, have Allah in it. But the theory is that Islam was so dominant that it forced probably many of the Christians at that time to utilize the name Allah in it. However, this is just a theory. I'd like to hear from Sam yeah. what he thinks also about the origin of the word itself yeah. and how it made itself even into the Quran that the pagans knew him by Allah. Yeah. Well, okay. Yeah, this is going to be a good question, somewhat controversial. The term Allah, according to many scholars, and there are even some Muslims who will admit this. Some won't, won't admit this because they believe Allah is the eternal name of God. So it has no beginning. So Allah is a name that's eternal, uncreated, because that's the name of God, and His names are not created or derived. That's what some Muslim scholars will say. For the other, other Muslims or scholars or not Muslims, they'll tell you that Allah is a contraction of two words. El, ilah. El, the definite article, the, and ilah. So if Hussein is saying that Allah, the word itself, <clears throat> doesn't mean God, well, in one sense, it means the God. The word for God, the generic term for God is ilah. So if that's what he's saying, then on linguistic grounds, grammatically, he'd be correct. But if he's saying that the term Allah is not an appropriate name for the God of the Bible because it is a name that pagans used for a pagan deity, well, that introduces a whole host of problems because as he mentioned, the Quran itself testifies. Now, so again, how much weight you give to the Quran that the Christians and the Jews at the time of Muhammad had no problem calling God Allah in Arabic. How do we know? Chapter 9, verse 30. The Jews say, Uzair is the son of Allah. The Christians, Nasara, say that Jesus is the son of Allah. So if we take the Quran as accurately describing the conversations that Muhammad is having with Jews and Christians, so here the Quran is bearing witness that Jews and Christians are calling God Allah. In fact, it even says that the Christians were calling Allah the Messiah, the son of Mary. So. It depends on how much you weight you put on the testament of the Quran. Is the Quran, even though it's not the Word of God, is it at least an Historical. accurate record to yeah. some extent yeah. on some of the conversations that are taking place between Jews and Christians and Muslims, or Muhammad in particular? If you say yes, then here you have evidence the Christians and the Jews are calling God Allah and they had no problem with it, without this implying that the Allah of the Quran is the same Allah revealed in the person of Christ in the Holy Bible. Yeah, there, there would be no disputing that the Allah of the Quran is yes. different from, from the, the God of the Bible. The question is with, with, our, with, our, with, with the use of the term, right? Yes. Um, and we, I, I guess we would have to watch uh, Hussein's video to actually know what his claims were to, yes. to, to see if we agree. And, and, and Hussein's a good apologist. He's, he, yes. he's sharp. So uh, but we're basically not, not clear on, on what, on what the claim is. is. As far as you, using, using a term that, uh, uh, that, that could be used for for other deities or something like that. Well, I mean, in the in the Greek New Testament, they use the word theos for yep. for God. So uh, the Jewish the Jewish um, the, the the Jewish writers of the New Testament who would would have known God as Yahweh or as Adonai. Um, they had no problem using the word theos, which was a Greek term, which would yeah. be used for, for, for Greek gods. They had no problem using a kind of generic term, like, like our word God, right? You can use our word God for God. You can say, God, please bless so-and-so. Or you can say, false gods, right? Yep. Or you can say, the God of Islam. We're using a term because it's, 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 kind, of a, it's kind of a generic term. So, um, yes, there's, there's clearly a distinction between the God of the, of the, of the Quran and the God yeah. of the Bible. Um, to add a point to what you uh, to what you said at the time of Christ, Zeus was called Ha Theos Ha Pater, Ha Theos the God Ha Pater the Father. The same terms used of the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Does that mean that Jesus' is father is Zeus, or these are just terms that people would use to refer to any deity that they worship?